Nishiki Ichiba is the best street food market in Kyoto. Today, I'm going to show you where to find it and the top five things that you must eat when you go there. And make sure you watch the whole video because there are some bonus foods. I mean, I really should call this the top seven things to eat, but who's got time for that? But before we jump in, welcome to Straight Up Eats. I'll take you to experience amazing foods and hidden restaurants in Japan. I publish videos every week, so make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to get notified about the newest videos. Now, when you think about it, a street food market is really just a dirty alleyway with weirdos selling you questionable food. Ugh. It's like a party in my mouth and everyone's throwing up. I mean, if you see a guy selling food behind a dumpster, you think, oh, that is disgusting. But when you see 20 guys selling food in a place that smells like a dumpster, you think, oh, what an exotic street food market. But Nishiki Ichiba is, thankfully, the complete opposite. It's clean, the food is fresh, and the vendors are friendly. To get here, take exit number 9 from Hankyu Kawaramachi Station. Head down the block and turn right onto Teramachi Shopping Arcade. Head down and you'll see a Wendy's on your right and an ABC. C-Mart on your left. Make that left and you're there. The market is filled with all things edible and inedible. Want to pick up some wooden sandals to go along with your fresh veggies and roasted sparrow? Then you can get that and so, so much more at Nishiki Ichiba Market. Now, on to the food. Number 5. Spicy Chili Ice Cream from Jintaro. This soft serve ice cream is mixed with Japanese spicy shichimi powder and is a great combination of sweet and spicy for me while being a cool, creamy, refreshing suicide pill for for the lactose intolerant. Shichimi is a spicy powder made from seven different ingredients including chilies, roasted orange peel, ground ginger, and even hemp seed. Number 4. Cheese Filled Sesame Balls This little shop sells all things sesame seeds, including these little Chinese-inspired sesame balls filled with camembert cheese. These skewered spheres are surprisingly delicious with the outside coated in roasted sesame seeds and rice puffs. Let's give it a little nom there and oh yes, that rice puff gives it an amazing crunch. The ball itself is made of mochi and you get that chewiness from it. The cheese inside is so smooth, creamy, and salty. And the sesame seeds round out the flavors with that beautiful toasted nuttiness. I love that combination of chewy, creamy, and crunchy. Bonus pro tip. Your hands are going to get greasy and dirty as you sample all of these delicious street foods. So when you need to wash them, this shop is the perfect place to do it. Just look for the statue of the beautiful monk. In the middle of the shop is a row of sinks with these little balls of jelly. No, they aren't edible. They're soap made with konyaku jelly. They're soft and squishy and perfect for those lonely, lonely nights. Oh, I took down two glasses of soda. Started eating a bunch of chicken, a few biscuits. Oh, I'll sit down with more soda. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, so uh, just walk into the shop, lather up, and wash your hands clean. Number three, mitarashi dango. These are just your classic mochi on a stick, charred on a hot grill, and dipped in a sweet soy sauce glaze. Mmm, that is such a classically Japanese flavor. The glaze is very thick and sweet, similar to molasses, but the soy sauce gives it just a tiny hint of umami. The charring adds just a bit of smokiness, and the mochi itself has a great bounciness and slowly dissolves in your mouth as you chew it. It's Definitely a classic that you shouldn't miss. Number two, menchi katsu. These delectable little meat pies are the perfect snack for when you want something meaty and savory. Oh yes, that is some meaty goodness. The patty inside is nice and juicy. It doesn't taste like it's mixed with too many fillers. You can taste a bit of that caramelized sweetness from the onions that are mixed into the meat and the outside has an incredible crunch to it. Yeah, it's a little greasy, but what trip to a street food market isn't complete without a fried greasy treat? And before we get to number one, let's look at our runner-ups. First, it's the Salmon Carpaccio. These delectable chunks of salmon are coated in olive oil, parsley, and lemon juice. Mmm, that's really nice. It's a burning hot day today, but that fish is ice cold and that lemon adds a bit of refreshing zing that just cuts right through the fatty, fishy flavor. It's perfect for a steamy summer day in Kyoto, and it's almost like a fishy popsicle. The second runner-up is Roasted Unagi on a Stick. This is a no-frill snack, but it is so, so good good. Mmm, oh yes. It's extremely tender and just falls apart in your mouth like good eel should. The edges are crisp from the natural oils frying them as they cook over the hot grill and that sauce is sweet and savory and has also caramelized around the edges which adds to that crispiness. What a great simple snack. And finally at number one is the rolled bacon and egg omelet sandwich from this Japanese omelet and tempura restaurant. Egg McMuffin, eat your heart out. This roll 
cold omelet sandwich has you beat. They're made fresh in the store by a master omelet maker. Then they get stuffed into a sweet roll along with some bacon and their in-house spread. Oh, yes. It's so good. That bun is heavenly soft and I'm surprised it hasn't melted away from all the juices from that bacon. The egg inside is incredibly tender with a slightly sweet and salty flavor. The bacon gives the sandwich a nice porky punch and the spread made from a combination of ketchup, mustard, butter, honey, and mayonnaise gives this golden bun witch a rich creamy sweetness. You cannot leave this place without one of these. But wait, there's one more recommendation that I have. It's a secret spot near Nishiki Ichiba Market that that very few tourists know about. That video will be coming out soon, so make sure you're subscribed and you've clicked that notification bell so you don't miss it. Also check out some of my other Kyoto food recommendations from this playlist here. That's it for me today and I'll see you in the next one.